a few years ago, Temtem MMORPG Monster Collecting Game Hybrid, taking a lot of its inspiration from Pokemon released. After having played over 200 hours of Temtem, I can definitely say that it's the best Pokemon like that I've played, surpassing even the best Pokemon games. But Temtem remained overall a mildly successful game that didn't become as popular as it could have been. Why that? Let me tell you what in my opinion Temtem does better than Pokemon, and then later on, why it cannot be anything more than just another Pokemon like. At first, Temtem seemed to copy most of the things that any games inspired by Pokemon copy. It has young adult, aiming to capture every single monster there is, a professor in his hometown, you can bring monsters, and they only attack you in the bushes, among many other similarities. But while Temtem is copying the basic formula of Pokemon, it does also modify some of its worst aspects to make them better. The first that comes to mind is the PowerPoint system of Pokemon, also called PP. Yeah. Each ability in Pokemon costs 1 PP to use, and depending on the ability you can use it a certain amount of time. Those only regenerate at the Pokemon Center or with an item, but after several fights, your Pokemon might be out of power points for a few abilities, but the problem do not lie there. To talk about the problem, let's first talk about what system Temtem use. Temtem instead created a stamina system, that each move costs a certain amount of stamina, and when your monster is exhausted, you simply have to rest and lose a turn. Stamina is a stat in Temtem, and therefore can be enhanced. If you end up going overboard, and using a move that costs a lot of stamina, when you are very low on it, you'll be taking damage to your health, depending on the difference between your leftovers of stamina and the cost of your ability. For example, if you use an ability that costs 19, where you have currently 2 of stamina, you'll take 17 worth of damage. I don't remember if it's gonna be exactly 17 damage, but I can tell you that you'll take a lot of damage. What all this does, is making sure you think about what you do. You cannot brainlessly spam those best attacks of your monsters and win. Well, not always. At least cause you can do that to a certain extent in the story. And that's mostly my problem about the power points of Pokemon. I believe it's a mechanic that just isn't that interesting and it simply made simple to make the game more accessible to people. There is never any frustration with it, but at the same time, you do not have to think about it in any PvP matches either. It's really secondary, and I believe Temtem does it better. Another thing that most Pokemon fans tend to be not happy about is simply that the games are too easy. The hardest game probably was the very first one that is now 25 years old, and by easy, I mean the main story of the game everything until you reach the lead game, and it's post-content. Pokemon is a license that focuses everything on making it accessible to everyone. You can give the game to your little sister that is 6 years old, and never played any video game in her life, and she'll probably make it through all the story without any problems. The few Pokemon games that I've played recently were even worse on this, as there is no challenge at all until the end game. The games are pleasant to go through, but it all just feels so easy, and for someone that played JRPG a bit and likes to grind, well, uh, it will be simply overkill. Pokemon can be beaten with a team of a single monster without any problem, as leveling up your monster to have 5 to 10 levels higher than everyone will make it a one-shot machine. And now, we finally can talk about Temtem's case. Temtem is a game that directly shows you from the start that you cannot only use one Temtem as you won't progress. You won't one-shot wild monsters as easily in this game, and while levels remain still important there too, it won't automatically make you one-shot everything. Monsters in Temtem are more resilient, and there is a bigger focus on strategy from the get-go. While Temtem isn't an overly difficult game, it is much harder and ask of you to use the right monsters for the right area and to think. If you want to do a team full of water monsters because it's cute, well you probably can, but you'll lose a lot of time and will make it harder for yourself. While in Pokemon, it's honestly not that bad. It results in the story of Temtem being much more enjoyable to play through than Pokemon, where you're basically stomping the entire game. Those two things are I believe the two biggest differences between Pokemon and Temtem and why I believe Temtem is a better game, but there is probably other smaller things. So why isn't Temtem a more popular game than Pokemon, or at least rising in popularity, if it's that good? And the answer is simply... because it isn't that good. Temtem is a MMORPG with all the problems that come with it. If you're not online, you cannot log in. If the servers aren't available, you cannot play, and once they pull the plug on the game, it's over. Temtem is a small license, and should play David vs Goliath. But instead, they chose to announce that they are done creating monsters, and that 163 monsters is the final number, in a MMO. 
that's simply baffling. Tentem also do not have the workforce of Pokemon that release a new game every few years. They can't produce enough content and are mostly happy to create content to milk the existing fanbase rather than try to establish a long-lasting IP. Temtem is simply not ambitious enough, and while most of the features of Temtem are on par with Pokemon, or better, it's also shooting its own foot with a lot of weird decisions and a clear lack of ambition. Temtem do not seem to listen to its fanbase, or if they do, do not seem to want to put in the work that its fanbase want them to do. And while Pokemon isn't much better in that situation, with Game Freaks rehashing the same old junk every few years, they are still the most popular license and also are popular among children and teenagers that tend to be less critical of things. Don't get me wrong, I like Temtem and I think it is a good game. But how do you want to face the most popular IP in the video game industry with such decisions? The answer is that you cannot. Temtem's developers are simply not up to the task, and that's fine, the game remains good. But it's simply not good enough to be more popular than it is. And as a developer seems to be lacking any ambition to be doing any better than microtransactions, I believe that's where the game will stay. This is, in my opinion, why Temtem, a game that is better than Pokemon, does not perform as good as it should. And why it is simply just another Pokemon-like in the end. That's it for today. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.